everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to cut a pomegranate. Pomegranate are delicious and incredibly healthy, but very messy and their seeds are difficult to be removed. First I will show you how to pick a ripe pomegranate. When the skin is very round and smooth, is not ready yet. A ripe pomegranate has the skin pulled very tightly against the seeds. You can see the irregular shape of this pomegranate, so this means it's perfectly ripe. So it has to be not entirely round, it has to have angles. Another hint can be the stem. It has to be yellow, if it's still green, it's not ripe. But remember, the most important is the shape. It has to have that boxy shape. Look for a large one, because a large one will have more pulp. Now I will show you how to cut them open and remove the seeds without mess. First you have to cut the bloom end. Then cut along the edges, because this is where the sets of the pomegranate seeds are. If you cut through the seeds, you will have a lot of splatter and a lot of waste. So cut off the crown without cutting the seeds. After the purchase, pomegranates can last up to a week on the kitchen counter or up to several weeks in the fridge. The fresh seeds will last a week in the fridge and you can also freeze them. Pop out the crown like a lid. It came out easily. You can see I didn't cut any seeds, they are all intact. Then cut where the membranes connect. Make some superficial cuts without cutting through the seeds. Don't go all the way down to the bottom. You want the segments to stay together, not to fall apart totally. Put your pomegranate over a deep bowl. You want to keep it upside down to minimize the juice splashing all over. Separate the segments by pulling them apart gently. You can see some seeds are already coming out. These are the segments full of seeds and you can see that with this method you won't cut through the seeds and avoid a lot of waste. Then take a wooden spoon or another utensil and smack the sides of the pomegranate all the way around. You can see all the seeds are coming out nicely. You know we should work it out, you know we should work it out. It came out a lot, but if you still have some seeds attached in there, pull them out by hand. Remove the big white rib pieces, and if you want to get rid of all that very tiny pieces, you can add some water. The membrane pieces are lighter, so they will float. Remove them and you are done. Pomegranate are loaded with antioxidants, which protect cells from damage by free radicals. The seeds are high in fiber, vitamins and minerals. Pomegranate is anti-inflammatory. They may help fight prostate and breast cancer. They may help lower blood pressure and help arthritis sufferers. Use a slotted spoon to take all your clean pomegranate seeds out of the water. This quick technique saves you time and mess. If during the operations you still have some splatters on the counter, clean as you go because pomegranate will stain. For the cutting board, just use a splash of sieve cream and it will clean up nicely and won't remain stained. But remember, wash immediately everything you used so it won't stain. Now you can use the seeds for your delicious dishes. 
salads, juice, smoothies, snacking, topping yogurt, oatmeal, ice cream, hummus, guacamole or even add a festive touch to a glass of champagne or cocktail. Please let me know in the comments below if you like pomegranate. I recently did a video on how to choose and cut a pineapple. If you are interested, I will link it at the end of this video. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Bye!